Alright, hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting a series on how to create your own Ice Dodo map if you don't have like Blender or something. So basically just using the URL. It's completely possible you don't have to have Blender, although it's much easier in Blender. So to start off, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do if you're completely new, you want to join the Onion Fish Studio. And once you've done that, you're going to scroll down all the way to map making and in the map making section you go to map making overview and then you're uh you're going to scroll all the way up to the top and then click on and open up in the new tab the ice dodo docs you're going to say yep now that you've gotten that open uh you can go over to the uh, google keep i'm gonna use google keep but you can use like notepad or whatever you want it doesn't really matter that much and you're gonna call it ice dodo uh, map now that you've gotten that you're going to want to copy and paste this little link it's the beginning of your map and I'll leave this down in the description so you can just copy and paste that into directly into your thing okay so now each uh, little block like a platform or a plane or whatever has its own little special letter so for beginning each little part of the URL and so we're gonna start with D which is the code for like a, um, a finish block and so we're gonna start with that and then you're gonna take uh, the X coordinate for it which we're just gonna call it zero for now and then since you can't do spaces you're gonna have to do like the money symbol and then this next one is the Y coordinate. Uh, for some reason, Ice Dodo doesn't really allow a positive one, so you're almost always going to have to put negative. And we're just going to call that 20. But since uh, Ice Dodo is even more weird, you're going to have to multiply it by 100, just the X, Y, and Z uh, coordinates. So we're going to do negative 2,000, which is basically negative, two, uh, negative 20. And then for the, finally for the Z coordinate, we're also just going to call it zero. Okay, and then the next part is the rotation of the X, Y, and Z, like which way you want it rotated. And we're just going to do zero, zero, zero for now. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, and then finally is how is like the size of it of an X, Y, and Z coordinate, and for the finishes, you have to always have uh, uh, 200, which is basically 2, because again, it's multiplied by 100. The only one that's not is the rotation. And so you're going to have 200, 200, 200. Then finally is any attributes you want. We're going to have no attributes for the finish. If you want, you can add some, but we're not going to do that yet. That's maybe for a later video. So now you got your finish block. And let's add a normal blocks of like the spawn platform if you want. So we're gonna have a B for which is like the block platform. And we got the B, and now we're gonna also call this zero in the X coordinate. And we're gonna put it at negative ten, so ten thousand, because it's multiplied by hundred. And then we're also going to put it in 0 in the y coordinate. And then we're going to have 0, 0, 0 for the rotation of the uh, platform because we don't really want anything. And then we're going to, now for the size. The size, it's also kind of different. It's going to, so let's say we have, let's make it uh, 5 or 500, basically 5, in the x coordinate. That's how like wide you want it. And then we're going to make it uh, 11 long. And then a good size is to do like 0 0.25, but you just do 25. All right, and then we're going to have no attributes yet. All right, so now let's take a look at what we have. As you can see, we have a platform and a finish. So it's coming along well. 
seems a bit fast, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a monkey. What monkeys do, basically, is that they take whatever effectors you want, like speed or turning, or like background color or whatever, and they apply it for the entire map. So we're going to do G, which is code for monkey, and then we're going to just call it, let's say, uh, 0, 0, 0 for the uh, position. I mean, you could do uh, like negative 20 in the Z coordinate just to move it out of the way. It doesn't actually show up, but it's just a good thing to have. And then you're going to have 0, 0, 0 for the rotation. And then you have to have 300, or size 3 basically, 300, 300. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to put it in our hashtag there. We're going to add some effectors. So, as I said, it seems pretty fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to slow it down. So if you go over to your ice, doc, ice map docs, as you can see, if you scroll down a bit, you can see speed right here. And speed has the alias of S, but that's for in Blender. So what you're going to use instead is just speed. And the default is 1, and it can be used to playing a monkey. We're going to be using it on a monkey. So if we go back to our uh, notepad or whatever, you can do speed equals 0 0.5, because we want it to go 0 0.5, like half the speed. And then you can put a question mark after it. Is question marks can be used if you want to add more effectors. Like let's say we want to have a higher turn. You do turn equals 1.5. Okay, now let's check out our map. It's a lot slower. We can move around. Okay. So now we've got that key right here, and you can copy it all the way up to the none. And then you can just paste it. Let's add another one. So now we got another pasted one. But it's in the exact same spot, so let's change that. Let's change the x coordinate to, let's say, how about 3. So let's call it 300, and then we're going to negative 15 like five more so and then now we've got that let's maybe turn it a bit and so let's try turning it in so we have the this is our z coordinate so we got the like the x coordinate y coordinate and the z coordinate and here's our rotation so it goes to the x and y and go all the way to the z let's the uh, coordinates are like degrees but aren't actually accurate so it's a bit confusing. You maybe got to kind of play around with it. Let's just try 50 for now. And then once you got all that, let's try it. As you can see, we got a little platform going this way now. But if you wanted to make it smaller, because the last platform seemed a bit big, so you can go over to your second one can find it. There's Z coordinate, there's that one. Let's change it to 1. And then let's maybe move it a bit more. You can kind of play around with it however you want. Do whatever. So let's try that. There, now we got a plot, a small little platform going this way. Let's say we wanted to move the finish over there. This, it's also kind of weird because you can't really tell where anything is. You can try. Let's maybe call, mm, let's say 7. 700. And then let's move it a bit back, like negative 25. And let's try that. See, so now it's over there. So it's basically kind of like trying to figure out where it is. And that's a lot about what, if you have to use a URL, it's kind of what you have to do. And so, yeah. So let's say we, we've done a, a few blocks, and now let's try to add like a cylinder. So, you can again just take your 
a platform one and copy it. You can do whatever you want. I'm just going to take it again and copy and paste. All right. But right now, it's going to be a platform. So we're going to want to change that. So you're going to want to use a capital E. E is the thing for a cylinder. And let's, if we open it up, you can see that it's not there. That's because it's not showing up yet because it's really small. So this, we're here at the Z, uh, Z size and let's try making it 200. And then let's say we want to make it, let's say about 500 or just like five and then 200. Uh, unique things about using the URL instead of using Blender is that in Blender, uh, it takes the X and the Y coordinate and it like makes them the same. Let's say if you have a 200 and 500, you can't do that in Blender. You'd like autocorrect it to like 500 and 500. So if we open this up, uh, we can see that now we have a cylinder right there. See how it's like different sizes. And so now we've gotten that. Let's maybe like make it 200 because it's easier. And then this also has a 50, which is the rotation of the Z. But let's say we want we want to make uh we want to make it longer. And so we're gonna change this to uh, like 800, and we're gonna rotate it in the x coordinate. So maybe let's try. I mean, let's try 90. So let's open that up. As you can see, it wasn't the rotation we wanted, but now we got a taller cylinder. So again, it's all kind of about like finding out where you want to do it. So let's try the y rotation. Aha, there we go. So now we got a little cylinder going up. Okay. And let's say we want to make the finish be up uh, like on the top of the cylinder. So we can go over to it, uh, start in our X and our Y and our Z. Since we made it about 800, but since it was slightly t tilted like upward, we're going to try maybe 600, which is just six. And if we go up there to our, if we open up our link, let's see where it is. As you can see, it's right there. So, uh, just a little optimization. You can make it like a little bit higher since it was a bit low, but you can do whatever you want. Cone. So let's take our base uh, building block, let's say, and let's paste it in. And now, since we're doing a cone, you want to change the B to a C. Like, the C is for a cone. And maybe let's put it at negative 12.5. So, 12, 1,250. And then we want it to have, uh, that's the in the Y coordinate. For the Z coordinate, like up and down, we want to have it at uh, 0.25 or like 25 since multiplied by 100 again. And that's so that it doesn't spawn inside the platform, like the spawn platform. It's okay if it does, it doesn't really matter, it's just, it looks better. And then we don't want, uh, since cones have a thing of 1, you're going to have 100 for all the sizes. Set that real quick. Alright, now you've gotten that, let's take a look at our link. See, now we got a cone there. And if you hit it, obviously you die. So you gotta kinda avoid it. Make it up to the top. Once you have your own map, it can be completely new. It doesn't have to be anything too good. You're gonna take all of it and copy it. And then head over to tinyurl.com. And once you're there, you're gonna paste your link in there and then make your tiny URL. It's going to make it for you. It's, it's going to pop up over here. And then once it pops up, you're going to go over here, click copy. Um, and then head back over to Discord. And then if you scroll back up to the top in the channels, 
and you go to bot commands, um, you're going to do slash apply map maker. I'm restricted from applying because of I already applied and I'm already a map maker. And, but for you, it's going to send a message to you um, in your direct messages. And then it's going to ask you some simple questions like how often you are online and things like that. And like why you want to make maps. And then uh, eventually it's going to ask you for your uh, tiny URL link. And that's where you're going to paste in your link. And uh, then if it gets accepted, which um, I don't think anyone's ever gotten like denied. Uh, once you get accepted, you become a trial map maker. And then, then you can go over and start working on even better maps. And that's going to be all this for this video. Um, in the next video, we're going to talk more about planes and other effectors. And bye.